Okay, this is an SAT lesson on slope of a line. And slope is fair game on the SAT. You will absolutely see the word slope as a question. You may see it more than once, and it's presented in multiple fashions. If you haven't seen slope since middle school or algebra one, remember that slope is the relationship of a line between the x and y coordinate points on the line. And if we have the y-axis going in the vertical position and the x-axis in the horizontal position, the standard line that we use is a line that goes from the origin off on a 45 degree angle and that's the line y equals x. The standard format of using slope is slope intercept form and that's y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is where the y the line intercepts the y axis y equals mx plus b. So let's take a look at the sine of a slope and its degree. It's the coefficient in front of it, the variable x in this format y equals mx plus b. The standard line y equals x passes through the origin. When it passes through the origin it passes at the point zero so b is equal to zero. That's a big hint. They love to say a line passes through the origin. And that's when you make sure that it's b is equal to zero. The slope of this line is one, positive one. If I mirrored it or reflected it about the y-axis, its slope would be negative one. So let's take a look at the line goes from the third quadrant down to the fourth quadrant of the xy plane. It's a negative slope. Negative, positive. And let's look at the values. Any line that runs down below our parent function and towards the x-axis, a line like this, has a slope that's a fraction. It's less than one. So here, m is less than 1. If the line is above our parent function, above the standard line, it has a slope of m is greater than 1. On the flip side, if we had a reflection of this line, m is greater than 1, the value of the number is higher. It'll be a higher negative number, but m is less than negative 1. So negative 2, if this line is 2 for a slope, this would be negative 2. And our fourth line that we're drawing here is a line that is down towards the x-axis again and this slope is greater than negative one but it's less than zero. That is how slope looks on the xy plane. The standard slope of one, a slope that's a fraction, a slope that's greater than one, a slope that's negative, a slope that is a negative fraction, and a slope that is a negative number where the number is less than negative one. Okay, cut that one. See how that.